Hello, it's Illy Ternalin. What's up, guys? I thought today we were gonna pick some bad Pokemon. Except they're not actually bad, but they've got some questionable design choices that either I or lots of other Pokemon fans have pointed out that they dislike. So it's things I've seen repeatedly about these Pokemon specifically. So I wanted to quote unquote fix them, mostly to see if they would actually look better and if people are right or if people are wrong. So of course fixing these like perceived flaws might completely undermine the intended design and might actually be really stupid choices to make, but this isn't serious design critique. Again, it's just a thing I'm doing for fun, because we Pokemon fans are whiny little- Okay, let's get started. I think this is one of the most complained about Pokemon in its Torterra. It's because it's got a tree and it's got stones on its back and it just looks unbalanced so of course i had to fix it i first i tried to remove the tree and give it just rocks and it does kind of look more balanced <laughs> to be honest but of course i also had to make a version where we have two trees instead so we've got three torterra in the stone i mean it's ground type so ground torterra i guess I remember when Gen 4 came out, I was one of those people who really disliked the unbalanced nature of Torterra. But now I've gotten so used to it and so seeing it looks kind of weird if it doesn't have a tree and stones. But if I had to pick, I think I picked the stone one because it reminds me of Stegosaurus and that's really cool. So yeah, comment down below which ones you think are better, the original or the edited ones. And the second one is Gyarados. But not regular Gyarados, it's Mega Gyarados. Because the thing I remember when Gyarados came out, I mean Mega Gyarados came out, I do not remember original Gyarados coming out because I was not born when the first games released. So, Mega Gyarados. Well, the thing is, it's kind of fat. Like, I don't want to fat shame you, Mega Gyarados, but you're kind of you're kind of chub and you kind of look like a shrimp. So what I did is I made it a bit thinner. <laughs> so it looks more like a dragon snake thing that it's supposed to be and less like a chubby shrimp. I think I actually prefer the skinnier version because I, I am on camp. It looks like a shrimp and I don't really like it. So yeah. Next up we have Persian, but again not original Persian, but Alolan Persian. For the obvious reason of it having a giant round balloon face, which absolutely everyone was memeing about when it was first new. And I agree, it looks a little bit off-putting. We've had it for long enough that it's become normal. I'm used to it. But I still wanted to see what it would look like if it had a more Persian, original Persian face, where it's kind of skinnier and more cat-like, since it is like a cat. And I kind of like both versions, because I, I like the spoiled round face look. But I think it looks better when it's smaller and more cat-like. Kind of a tough one. I think ultimately I would pick the more cat-like one, actually. Oh god, am I just, just confirming all the complaints of Pokemon fans? Oh no! Okay, so this next one is like a personal one for me. And it's Kogchu. Because I really, really like bears. The annoying thing is, I really want to like Kogchu. But I find it's not like really gross. So I, just, I can't like it. So if we just remove this knot. It's perfect. I would love it so much, but I just can't because it's grossing me out so much. Next up, we have a Gen 1 Pokemon. It's been badly designed from the start. I'm just kidding, but also not kidding. So we have Execute. I just find it so disturbing that one of them is cracked. And like it's like its brains are literally just spilling out. I feel so bad for it. Like that has to be so painful. I hate it so much. So I just, I just fixed it. <laughs> just like fixed it to not be cracked, to not have a open brain surgery going on. Just plain old egg seeds. And it kind of looks creepy because they're kind of like light pink, so it kind of looks like they're made of skin, which is kind of gross. But they're eggs. I mean seeds. You know what? Execute might just be a bad Pokemon. I don't think we can fix it. It's just bad. And if you thought legendary Pokemon were excluded from this list, you're wrong, because I hate Reshiram and I've seen other people also dislike it. Because I do not need big ass erected PP in my face from a legendary Pokemon, it's kinda gross, please. Why? 
Why game break? Why did you give it a giant PP? It's so weird. I just had to remove it. I'm sorry to all the male people. But like, don't just go around with your erection everywhere. I'm, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. You know what? Let's just, let's just move on. Have you ever thought about the fact that Marie doesn't have any ears? Isn't that kind of weird? I think it's kind of weird. So I gave it little ears and I had to just move up the horns a little bit so the ears doesn't like grow out of his chin. Yeah, I don't actually think it looks better with ears. I think it looks perfectly fine with just horns. And we can sort of pretend that the ears are hidden, like in the wool. So I actually gonna give it to Marie, even though it is kind of weird that it doesn't have ears. But OG Marie, you're cool. And I guess apparently if you're in Johto, you're not allowed to have ears, because Houndoom doesn't have ears either. It just has horns. Can you hear with your horns? I think not. Funny thing is, it had ears before it evolved. Houndor has ears, so of course I used Houndor's ears and just like put them onto Houndoom. And it looks kind of weird, but I feel like if this is what we had, we would get used to it pretty quickly. It would feel normal. Yeah, I, it doesn't look too bad. I feel like I'd have to get used to it, but it's okay. And just for fun, I actually did it to the Mega as well, because that one also doesn't have any ears. And I think it looks... Actually, it looks really good here. I like the ears. So something that bothered me personally as a kid is the fact that Sharpedo is just half a shark. It looks like someone just chopped it in half and it looks terrible. Well, I'm getting used to it. It doesn't look terrible to me now and it's supposed to be a torpedo. So design-wise, it does make sense. I just don't really like it and wanted to see what it looks like if it had a tail with fins and all that. And honestly, I prefer it so much. Why didn't they just make it this? Like, it doesn't have to be a big shark. It's still a pretty tiny shark. I just think it looks so much better this way. And I did the Mega as well for this one, and I I don't really like it, but I honestly don't really like the Mega to begin with. I think the design is like super messy and weird, so I don't really care what the Mega looks like. But yeah, let's move on to the next one, which is from the same generation. It's cast form. So people don't like that cast form's body is um, very um, round and bulbous and... <laughs> It looks like various other things makes people kind of uncomfortable. I never saw it as a kid, but I can kind of see it now as an adult that it looks kind of weird. So I thought if we assume that the round ball-like parts, I don't buy yeah, if we assume that those are like arms, I think if you just gave it a little round body and then made the arms like super tiny, it would actually be a super cute Pokemon. And I think this is like a massive improvement. I don't think it takes away from the design, but maybe I'm wrong. I think it's like supposed to be some kind of cloud and it still looks kind of like a little cloud ghost thing. I don't really know. I think it looks much better if we just gave it a tiny body and tiny hands instead. But that's my opinion. And no, oh wow, am I gonna complain about another Hoenn Pokemon despite being a Hoenn fangirl? Yes, I am. This time we have the classic Edgelord favorite, Absol. So the thing with Absol is that it looks like Yin Yang and it's actually really cool and it's a pretty clever design and all. But I remember as a kid, and this is what I've seen other people say, is they really don't like the asymmetry. Because it only has a horn on one side and the hair just swooped down on the other and it looks kind of weird. So I'll try to fix it, see if it looks better and it turns out it looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> Because if you want to keep the horn, you have to make it shorter or smaller. Because otherwise, it would like the horns would crash into each other, and you look like a circle. It would be kind of weird. But it's not that much of an issue. Because I think what really makes it look weird is the hair. It I don't know. It turned into a Karen. And I'm sorry if your name is Karen. I'm sure you're a great person, but it kind of looks like a Karen. But if you keep the horns, so the horns are balanced, and you still have the emo hairstyle to one side. It actually looks okay, I think. Okay, now a possibly really hot take that people are gonna hate me for because it's like a personal one. It's Mimikyu. Because when Mimikyu was revealed, I was so happy. I was like 100% on board with having like a spooky Pikachu. But then I quickly learned that it's not a spooky Pikachu, it's a costume. And I would just really like to have a ghost type Pika clone that isn't like a fake. So if we just like imagine that Mimikyu wasn't just a costume but an actual Pokemon that looks like a spooky Pikachu. So I removed the little eyes, gave it little arms instead. 
And just imagine this as a Pokemon and like the face is the actual face. It's not your costume. I would love this so much. I wish this is what they had made instead of Mimikyu. And I still love Mimikyu. I think Mimikyu is great, but I just, I really want a ghost Pikachu. And now I feel like because they made Mimikyu, they'll never make a ghost Pikachu. <laughs> and that makes me kind of sad. Okay, I have another personal one, which is Unpheasant. I think this is a really strange one. I've never seen anyone else mention it, but I feel like Unpheasant has a comically large body in proportion to its head. I think it kind of looks okay in the this like official art but i remember seeing it in game for the first time and thinking it looked terrible so i thought what if i just made a body like smaller a bit more streamlined and again this is kind of a thing that i know only bothers me and i also know that pigeons are like really chubby like, design wise it's not bad it just for some reason bothers me personally and i i don't know why i just just a thing i just wish they were a bit smaller that's all Okay, we're heading all the way back to Johto because we have Stantler. So the thing with Stantler is, its face, it's kind of ugly. Like, I'm sorry Stantler, you're not a looker. You're not an international policeman, detective, person. You're just a deer. It's kind of ugly. It's okay, you have other qualities. Like you have a giant butt tail. I know, yeah, no, okay, you're, you're pretty ugly all around, but whatever. See, the thing that bothers me is the fact that it has this like bulldog face, you know what I mean? Like the droopy cheeks and it looks nothing like a deer and it's really weird. So I just wanted to see it with um, just a face that looks more like a deer. So I made it the skinny deer face and honestly I think it looks so much better. <laughs> it still looks like a Pokemon, it still looks kind of cartoony, but it doesn't look super ugly anymore. That's my opinion, maybe you like bulldog face Stampler. That's okay, you're entitled to your bad opinions. And these are all the ones I had for today. I could probably think of some more design choices people don't really like for Pokemon, but I just these were the ones I could think of right now. And I really want to know if people agree or disagree, so let me know which ones you prefer, the edited ones or the original ones. I'm sure there's a mix for most people. So let me know down in the comments and like and subscribe and all that if you want to see more videos from me thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye